You said at a speech today you're afraid this election is going to be rigged. I've been hearing about it for a long time. I hope the Republicans get out there and watch very closely. This new poll is showing a big convention bounce for Hillary Clinton. Following her nomination at the Democratic National Convention, Hillary Clinton now leads it. Donald Trump, 50% to 42%. That's a seven-point jump from last week. You see, he's supposed to just sit there and let him steal it. But he didn't sit there, so they failed. And they think they're going to have another stolen general election in front of everybody at high noon, and we're just going to sit here and go along with it. We're not. I'm going to fight it. Trump's going to fight it. You're going to fight it. Bob Mulholland from Chico, California. I'm a DNC member, thus a superdelegate to the National Convention. First of all, it's rigged. And I'm afraid the election's going to be rigged. I have to be honest. And the way we work is that uh, anybody who gets 15% more in election gets delegates. So this election will go all the way to California. Sanders will end up with well over 1,000 delegates, and Hillary will get the nomination. Hillary Clinton, like said from the start. Hillary Clinton has had every advantage, every break given to her from the very beginning by this Democratic Party. It has been rigged. It is clearly the case that when given truth serum, Debbie Wasserman <laughs> Schultz vastly prefers <laughs> Hillary Clinton to be the nominee, obviously, and... To the extent there are things that can be done institutionally and largely to facilitate that outcome, they are being done. If Hillary steals the nomination and then she openly is engaged in chicanery and things don't add up with Trump, you have to say it must be thrown out. The political parties choose their nominee, not the general public, uh, contrary to popular belief. But then why bother holding the primaries? That's a very good question. WikiLeaks has dumped nearly 20,000 hacked emails from the DNC. We're talking about the report of leaked DNC emails showing an effort to undermine Bernie Sanders during the primaries. The American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Thank you. When did the press see it as their role to, to protect the prerogative of the powerful? Actually, I think that's part of it. And we're not going to recognize Queen Hillary if there's evidence of fraud. And guess what there is? She stole the nomination. I want to thank Bernie Sanders. If he would have just not done anything, just go home, go to sleep, relax. He would have been a hero. But he made a deal with the devil. She's the devil. The media has created the perception that the voters will decide the nomination, and that's the concept. That's the conflict here. We, we the feel like we is, live in a democratic society. What you're telling me is it's not a democratic society, and your votes don't right. necessarily matter because it's a democratic representation. Crooked Hillary thinks they're going to pull what they did on Mitt Romney. Mm -mm, lady, isn't going to happen. That's why her campaign head, her chief strategist, said this is dangerous. What Trump's doing. You're right. It is dangerous, isn't it? actually standing up to you. I continue to believe, Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. And I'm telling you, November 8th, we better be careful because that election's gonna be rigged. Yes, I think the Vermont, uh, Republican nominee is unfit uh, to serve as president. And I hope the Republicans are watching closely or it's gonna be taken away from us. You're gonna be hearing a lot more about this, ladies and gentlemen, because Donald Trump's not gonna let you be robbed, myself be robbed, or him be robbed or his family. There has to come a point at which you say, enough.